I'm Cynthia Schiller. We are going to talk about difficult conversations. Having good conversations is the foundation of a good relationship. So is there a difficult conversation that you've been putting off? Whether it's a coworker, family member, a lover, somebody that you need to talk to, but you don't. Maybe you've tried and it didn't turn out as you had hoped. So sometimes you get a little more skittish or maybe you fear that talking will only make things worse. I know I suffered with that. But whatever the reason, you feel stuck and you'd like to free up all this pent up emotions to kind of utilize that energy in different ways. There's a lot of fears we go through when we're trying to have difficult conversations. So one of the most re uh, common reasons that I hear is people are a little afraid. They don't know how to begin. So I'm going to go over a couple of conversation openers that can be very useful. And it just helps people communicate with each other. So you could say certain things like, I'd like to discuss something with you that I think will help us work together better. And you could say, I think we may have different ideas about such and such. When you have some time, I'd like to talk about it. I'd like to hear your thoughts on such and such. Do you have a minute? And that way they know what uh, the conversation is. And you can see if they're open to communicating. You can even say, I need your help with what just happened for such and such. Can we talk? And just let them know that you're wanting to be open with them. I'd like to see if we might reach a better understanding about this. I really want to hear your thoughts on this. So when you tell them that you're willing to hear their perspective, that makes the relationship healthy instead of toxic. Also try not to say you, um, you can say I feel, but when you say you make me feel this way, it's really us. We have control over our, emo our emotions. So instead of blaming them by saying you, 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 let them know how you're feeling. All of these openers can help create an environment of respect and also states the purpose. So you have a mutual purpose that you guys are trying to achieve. And you can pretty much say anything as long as you maintain the two critical conditions of respect and purpose. And it does take practice. I know if you've ever dealt with a narcissist, a lot of times it lacks respect and it turns the blame onto you. And it also doesn't address the problem. So if you deal with the respect and also the purpose, keep it on topic. So the art of conversation is like any art. With continued practice, you acquire uh, skill. It also becomes easier and you can create a better work relationship, family relationship, ease on communication problems, and it just helps improve the quality of the relationship. So let me give you some tips to get started. Here are three of them. When a successful outfit uh, outcome, it depends on two things, how you are and what you say, how you are, whether you're centered, supportive, curious, problem solving, all this will greatly influence what you say. The words that we use are usually based in the state of mind that we're at. So make sure you're in a calm place as opposed to being angry, that you handle things. The words flow better when they connect with your emotions. Try not to be coming from a more emotional state. It should be more of a logical state. And for... Uh, the second one, know and return to your purpose at difficult moments. Know what you guys are trying to discuss. If you are with a narcissist, I have a channel, a soul survivor dash Cynthia. Um, they like to turn things around where the purpose never gets handled. It starts driving you crazy. And then it starts making you feel like you're a nag. If you can redirect to keep the purpose at hand, it makes a huge difference. Practice a conversation before holding the real one, either mentally, even try it with a friend. Try out different scenarios so you can kind of prepare yourself, visualize yourself handling each of these and have it in a positive mindset where you can handle these with ease and envision the outcome that you are hoping for. And this is important because when you envision the end product, you kind of guide yourself towards that. So if you envision a poor outcome, uh, insecurities, all those things are going to surface and that's the direction the relationship most likely will take so you can also try to see where your partner may be and try to remember the end result is a positive outcome your words will follow your emotions also keep it as logical as possible instead of emotional because when we're emotional we tend to react and say things we might not necessarily mean 
So you deserve a beautiful, loving relationship and an easy life. Communication skills take time and practice, and I'm here to help you with them. Please like and subscribe. Share if this will help someone, and I'll see you in the next video.